I just want to take a minute to show you um, how to get your FCC back if you by accident um, press OK to the uh, Wi-Fi region prompt in the original DJI GO 4 app. So we're just going to pretend that I'm getting ready to uh, fly. Um, I've placed my uh, spark outside on our porch right now to uh, make sure that I get GPS signal. But um, as usual, when I have to fly, I'll turn on my controller. I'm just going to leave outside to turn on my spark. There we go, I turned on my spark and now I'm just waiting for the spark to uh, connect to my remote here. In the meantime, I'm just gonna go into my phone as I normally would. Gonna change my Wi-Fi from my home network to the uh, Spark RC. I'm gonna get a prompt that I have no internet connection. Uh, that's just the uh, Samsung Galaxy S8 that's telling me that so that's perfectly normal here we got it now I'm gonna go into my original DJI GO 4 app it's uh, collecting uh, device information and stuff like that um, I'll just be waiting for the spark to connect again here like that collecting device information and I should get a prompt in a minute that I'm in a different Wi-Fi region. I'll press go fly. I haven't got the Wi-Fi prompt yet. So we'll have to see if it comes up. I'm gonna check what I'm in right now. CE or FCC. Mm -hmm. Image transmission signal too weak. I don't know why it's telling me that. As you can see, I'm actually in um, I'm actually in CE mode now, and I can tell that by uh, the 13 channels that I got uh, on my Spark. Um, which means I'm I'm not in FCC now, I'm actually in CE mode. So that's because I've accidentally pressed OK to the uh, Wi-Fi prompt when I opened my original DJI GO app. Um, so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go out of this. I'm going to go out of this uh, app as well. I'm going to make sure that it's all closed down so it's not running in the background. I'll go in to all my apps, I'll find the TSS Go Forth app, I'm going to open that up, and it should prompt me that I'm in a different Wi-Fi region. Like that. Now, all you have to do to get your FCC back is to tap OK. Boom. Then it's asking me if I want to update my no-fly zones, I'm just gonna tap temporarily not. Now what's happening is that my remote and my spark is restarting and changing the region and now it's connected again. Again, just asking me to update my no-fly zones, gonna tap temporarily not. That's pretty much it. So now let's see if it worked. Now I'm going to go out of this TSS GO app, again, make sure that it's all closed down. Going to go in to my original DJI GO 4 here, like that. Wait for it to start up. I'm still connected to the spark that's on my porch outside. It's gathering some device information. 
and if I'm prompted to change Wi-Fi settings in the original DJI GO 4 app you have to remember to tap cancel. Now I'm gonna press go fly to check whether or not that I actually succeeded in changing back to FCC. Tap the cross up here, close, the three dots going into my Wi-Fi and here I still got 16 channels but I got no signal bars. So now I'm just gonna wait a little. You see, now it just jumped back to 11 channels in the 2.4 gigahertz and the five channels in 5.8 gigahertz. So that's pretty much how easy it is to switch from CE mode to FCC and vice versa. If you accidentally tap the OK tap in the original DJI GO 4 app when it prompts you to change Wi-Fi region, you just have to make sure to close everything down, all the apps running on your mobile device, open up the TSS GO app and tap OK to change Wi-Fi region in there and you'll have FCC back again. Sugar do 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 Oh honey honey